Hey everybody, Jason here from How to Profit, and today we're going to update our case study for our Rank and Rent website that we've built in high level. If you haven't seen any of those videos, go on our channel, look at our case study that we've walked through the entire process of what we're doing. But in a nutshell, we're basically building a website on high level, the software that we've talked about many times on our channel, and we're going and ranking that site on Google. This particular site is in the concrete niche. I don't do concrete. I've never, maybe I've done concrete once in my life, but I don't have a concrete company. The goal of this is to rank the site on Google in hopefully the number one position for multiple terms, uh, Katie Concrete, Concrete Service near me. I'll show you a bunch of others in a moment. But once we get that site ranked, then I'm going to rent that site out to a local contractor that does concrete in the area. And we've already been in communication with somebody that I think is going to rent the site out but we haven't officially done that. So once we do, I'll be sure to let you know. But let me just give you an update of what's been happening here. So I'll show you the website again here. And this is our site, katieconcreteservice.com. Please do not uh, call the number or fill out the forms on the site. Please just let this be a case study because we are actively trying to rent this site out. Um, so we wanna make sure that all the information and the data is pure in here. But you can kind of see this as a case study here. We'll walk through a few different steps here has a lot of pages that are already ranking on Google. I'll show you the proof of that in a moment. Then we also have this chat widget down here, which is gonna be important in a moment as well. So this is a basic site built in, in high level. Everything is built on high level on here. Uh, the form is in high level. All of these uh, graphics, I think were done in high level or mid journey. And then the text was done with the high level AI content tool that we've covered in uh, previous videos as well. So. It's a pretty basic, simple site, but it is very powerful because it's already starting to get leads and we haven't done a ton with the SEO yet. So I'll show you some proof of that here with, this is a Google search console, which gives you the most accurate data on how much traffic you're actually getting to your website straight from Google. So you can see in the past three months, we've had 67 clicks to the website. Some of those were probably me, but uh, lately I haven't really gone to the site much. And you can see in the past few days, we've gotten one click, two clicks, three clicks. This day we got five clicks, four clicks, two, and then nothing uh, yesterday and the day before. So hit and miss. Some days we're getting a lot, some days we're not, but still an uptick of traffic for sure in the past uh, week or two. Now we'll look at impressions, which means how many times did somebody search for a term on Google that our site showed up? Maybe it didn't show up in the number one spot, but it showed up somewhere in the search results there. So you can see this trend line is kind of trending up to uh, maybe if we shorten this down to the last 28 days, let's see if that changes the trend line at all. So 30, 30, and then now we're like every day we're over 30 for the most part, 51 on this day. So we're right around 30 each day, which is cool. And then the average position is something I like to look at too, which is when people are searching for a certain term on Google, where do we show up? Are we in the number one position, number 50, however that is. So you can go down here and see Katie Concrete Service, which is our exact match domain. This is the katieconcreteservice.com is our domain. We rank 1.6, which normally we're in the one number one position, some days in the two. Um, Katie Concrete, which is what I'd love to work, rank for number one. Uh, we're at six. Let me rank this by um, top to bottom here. It's 1.6. Katie Concrete, 6.6. .6. Concrete pool deck near me, 11. Uh, stamped concrete near me, 16. And these fluctuate daily. So this isn't always exactly where they're going to be, but it's pretty good data here. And you can also see by clicking on some of these, if I click on stamp concrete, Katie, Texas, I can kind of see the trend line of where this happened. So back in last month, I was at 29, then 23, 20, 18, 17, 16 hovering around the 17 position and we're kind of stuck right there right now. So if I go back again, let's see pool deck near me. Look at average position here. This looks like I wasn't ranking at all. This may have been one of the pages that if you saw in some of our last videos, we had an SEO expert come on and, and let me know that some of my sites, some of my pages weren't even indexed by Google, meaning they couldn't even find the site. It wasn't uh, submitted properly. So I just had to go into this dashboard here and resubmit that page and now Google can find it. So we went from nothing to uh, ranked 
number 11 for that search term, which is cool. Show you one more here. Let's go back one more time. Let's do this KD concrete, which is, like I said, the term I'd love to, to rank for. And we started at position 9, 8.5, over around 7, 4.5. And we've gone down a little bit to position 7 in the last month. Like I said, these fluctuate some days. I'm not even on this chart. Some days I pop back up. The site is fairly new, so it's maybe six months old. And so, and really most of the content was done in the last few months. So uh, still a lot of what they call the Google dance where you're going up and down in the rankings, but we're going to support this site with a lot more content, a lot more pages, a lot more thorough content on our homepage. And we haven't even started building backlinks, which is where we go and find, um, we get citations, which is something like Yelp and uh, uh, those kind of local directory sites that is going to help us a lot too. And then just getting backlinks from newspapers and just other entities that give our site credibility. So that is a little behind the scenes. Let me show you just the Google search here. Now uh, I am logged in right now. So these results are going to be a little skewed, but if I search Katie concrete here, you can see I'm showing up uh, right here and then also right here. And this is the root domain katieconcrete.com. And then this one is Katie Concrete. Whoops, was that me? Yeah. So katieconcreteservice.com. And then this one is Concrete Patio. It's a residential patio. So I have two pages ranking in the, the top 10 right now. Uh, obviously, I'm logged in, so I should be logging in as an inco incognito window and showing you that. But still, it's great to see that, that we have a couple that are already on this first page. Now, what I will do eventually, hopefully, is get into what's called the map pack, which is right here, and that will give us additional traffic here. But what I need is a local address, and I need, once I rent this site out, I'm going to um, get this map pack with whoever we rent it out for. So hopefully they have a secondary address or something that I can use to uh, do this, because Google is a little strict on getting these things verified. You need a legitimate address. You need to receive sometimes a postcard to that address and a couple other things to get listed here as well. That's just a little behind the scenes of what it is, but we do have some new results. We got a new lead that came into the site. So I'm going to show you that and then talk to you about the person that we're attempting to rent this site out to. So this lead came in uh, on Saturday, said, uh, would, would, would I guess he meant, would like a quote on a 20 by 25 slab that would hold an above ground pool and half sports court in the backyard. Nice. So I replied and said, hey, Jacob, uh, yes, we can give you a call tomorrow, which was Father's Day, so I wasn't sure. So I said, unless Monday would be better for you. And he didn't reply. So I then um, sent him a follow-up message today on Monday. Good morning, Jacob. Are you free today to chat about your 20 by 25 concrete slab? He said, can you call me after 1 p.m.? No problem. Will do. And then now I have found, after a lot of struggle, uh, much more struggle than I initially thought, found a concrete company that is willing to take these leads and actively call them. So the struggle I had was, number one, a lot of these concrete contractors never called me back. So that's a big problem. But number two, when I did get a couple on the phone, they talked to big game, said, yeah, I'm ready to take some leads. Then when I actually had the initial lead for them, I would send them the information. I'd follow up a few hours later, maybe even 24 hours later, saying, hey, I uh, just want to see how that lead went. They said, oh, I haven't gotten around to talk to them yet haven't gotten around to call them yet. So that was not going to work, right? I need somebody that's going to be on it on top of it and is really hungry to grow. So found these guys. Uh, actually, the way that I did it was in a uh, contractor group in Houston, in the Houston area. I posted that I had a lot of concrete leads that I needed somebody to take over and I got flooded with messages, probably over a hundred messages if you count the comments and the direct messages that I got. So found a couple people that were, uh, had a great website, had you know, seem like they had some experience. This particular company that I've been working with does more than just concrete. Their bread and butter is roofing, but they're basically general contractors. So they do roofing, they do all kinds of other things. And uh, they were right on it. As soon as I sent them the lead, they picked up the phone, called it, and they have told me that that lead looks very promising. They've already gone out and met with the person at their job site and uh, have given them a bid, so waiting to close that deal. So I forwarded this lead over to them as well. Now you can see where did this lead come from says chat widget, which if you go to our website here, we have this little chat widget down here, which is again, built in high level. They filled out the form here, put their message, which is where uh, that is coming in right here is the first message that 
he chatted to me. So I've captured his phone number, his name, and now this message. So I have multiple ways to get in touch with him, which is great. And then you can see uh, the communication we had. And again, the chat widget form. I don't know why it says social media here. It should say Google because we don't really have a social media presence for this. But uh, it is interesting that they went there. The only thing I could think maybe is the case is that you can see right here, Katie Concrete Service is a Facebook page. I do not own this Facebook page. I'm trying to take ownership of it. But the reason that we even got this domain in the first place is because I stumbled across this site um, when I first started looking at doing this and I went to this Facebook page and saw this domain here, I clicked on it and it was a dead link, meaning that this uh, was either somebody in the past that was trying to do rank and rent and failed, or it was a legitimate company that, um, that for whatever reason went out of business. So I registered the domain because this is ranking usually number one or number two for a lot of terms on Google, this Facebook page. So what may have happened is they went here and then they clicked on the link that I just showed you right here. And then that brought them over to our website, um, which is a possibility why it says um, social media there. So all I can think of there. So that is that. We've made a lot of great progress with the site. Uh, I'm really looking forward to once we get this new lead, uh, they are already reaching out to this gentleman that we just, I just showed you the, the lead that came in. They've already reached out to him, so hopefully they're going to get that deal as well. And then that will give me enough ammunition to sit down and, and pitch these guys on renting the site out. Now, how I would like to structure this rental, uh, I've seen a lot of people do this, is a weekly rental, which means that they're going to pay me, say, $300 per week to rent the site and get 100% of the leads that come from the site. Now, why I like this weekly model is twofold. Number one, it's less commitment for them so they can kind of test the waters and see how it goes. Um, and they can pay me every single week as they get leads coming in. So it's not as big of a commitment for them. And a lot of contractors get paid on and predict their cash flow on a weekly basis. So they get a job in, they get paid for that job, they pay their contractor, their subcontractors out, and then they have their profit there on a weekly basis. So that's good for them. Number two, it's good for me because I can see as we're going along, if they start slipping on payments like week two or week three, then I can then start finding somebody else to rent this site out without having a big long gap of not getting paid and them having a bunch of the leads. So I want to eliminate some of that as well. So weekly rental, I've seen a lot of people successfully do it for this particular industry. I've seen people do 300, 350, $400 per week to rent out a site. If it's generating a ton of leads, I'll probably do this around 250, 200 a week. Not really sure if this thing really kicks up and starts making a lot more, um, inbound traffic and we're getting a lot more leads, then I'll probably up that to the 350 range as well. But uh, really excited. We have multiple other sites I'm not doing as a live case study, but we are starting to rank those as well. And we're going to do the same exact thing for that. So I really want to shift um, our model to assets that we control, assets that we own, because that will give us a lot more flexibility to if we don't like working with somebody or if for some reason they don't want to work with us, we can easily still have an asset that we've owned and have worked on, but not have to reinvent the wheel. So I will still have clients that pay for our software and are happy using it on a monthly basis. I love that cash flow because it is somewhat passive. I rarely hear from those people, which uh, has been great because they are using the software and I don't have to do a bunch of customer service, which was a fear that I had. Uh, overall, I would love to just have a bunch of assets that I control, both physical real estate and now digital real estate. So we're going to talk a lot, a lot of more about that on the channel as well. So hopefully you guys love this content. If you want to get a free trial of high level, if you haven't used it in the past and you want to either upgrade your account or get a brand new account and get a 30 day free trial, you can go to ghlfree.com. I'll show you that page in a second. So if you go to ghlfree.com, you will land on this page, which you can either do a 30 day free trial, or if you're already on high level, you want to upgrade to the uh, tier where you can have unlimited accounts, or if you even want to do SaaS mode where you're actually selling it as your own software, you can do click here and it will upgrade you to one of those plans. So I got for you guys today. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. I want to do a lot more content like this and uh, just letting me know in the chat that you enjoy this type of content would really mean a lot to me. So talk to you again on the next video. Thanks.